Joining me now, Dr. Rebecca Hunter. She is the CEO of Geiger Energy. Great to see you. Great to see you. How does that sound? That How does that um, ring to you? Yeah, no, it's quite a change. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, so there was a merger uh, between the company that you were at, Forum Energy Metals, along with Baseload Energy. Uh, you formed Geiger Energy. It's still fairly fresh uh, in terms of when it was done. So can you just kind of give us the broad strokes of it, of the deal? Yeah, so, I mean... This all kind of happened this spring. So, you know, a lot of change. We kind of started negotiations in March and and now we're, we're at the end of it. So we just announced, you know, the actual name change, which is exciting. So now, you know, Form and, and Baseload are now Geiger. So a whole new company, new branding and a new, I think, pretty cute ticker. So we're now t um, under BEEP. So... B E E P? Yeah, BEEP. Beep. So all it's right. like the Geiger counter beeping. I like, like it. A lot. I like it. Good. Okay, so the team has been drilling at the Aberdeen uh, project, and you've got some high priority targets. So tell us about this, uh, the, the program, and, and some of the results so far. Yeah. So I mean, one of the big objectives this summer was to actually get to drill, and so the the merger really helped us do that. And so you know, Basel brought capital. We brought a really good project, and so. So we got to drill and so, you know, one thing achieved and then one of the big things I wanted to do is actually look at the exploration targets. And so, you know, we have mineralization on the property. So we have, you know, some pounds in the ground that, you know, we can work on as time goes on. But the bigger prize is is trying to find a larger deposit up there. We got all this great ground. We've we're kind of I'm trying to work through my thesis of finding that traditional unconformity type of of deposit. And so the things that I focused on this summer was drilling those targets. So with sandstone cover and, you know, the exciting thing that came out of that is for the first time in the Thelon Basin, we've actually intersected weak mineralization, but mineralization at the unconformity with a really nice alteration halo above it. So a big achievement there. Great. Now you have a lot of experience in the Thelon Basin with Forum, but prior to that with the Cameco uh, as well. So can you compare and contrast the Elon Basin with the Athabasca Basin? I remember you saying before that it is really kind of undiscovered or people don't really know about it. And it really is quite uh, material that there is up there. So yeah, it's exactly the same type of basin. Like geologically, it's the same age. It's the same type of rocks and hasn't been explored. Um, so that's that's a big thing, and I've I've had I've worked up there obviously for a long time, and and I've had my eye in that area for a long time, and it just needs that critical amount of exploration. We need more high grade uranium districts, and I think the Thelon Basin really fills that that need. And and if we can just we've got now some of those early indications of really good alteration, and and weak mineralization at the unconformity. Now it's time to to see if we can find something bigger. Now on the financial side, the company recently raised six million. Uh, Red Cloud was the sole agent lead uh, book runner. Uh, how would you describe the demand and the interest for that offering and uh, the general perception of how investors are understanding Geiger Energy? I know it's early days. Yeah, so it, you know, it's, it's kind of, that's a complicated question I get somewhat. <laughs> you know, so we're bringing two companies together. Mm. And so we're bringing two sets of shareholders together. And so, I think for the forum shareholders, Geiger brings us that rejuvenation, you know, new leadership, new company, new cap structure. So very favorable there. And then with the baseload shareholders, like I have a lot of, you know, one of my big focuses now is to, to get them comfortable with me, um, get them comfortable with kind of the vision I'd like to, to expand with and, and the Thelon Basin. And so my, my forum shareholders, I've been yapping about the Thelon for, you know, years couple of years. Um, and so so they know the story and all this. So it's, it's bringing that to the baseload shareholders. And as far as perception, you know, our, you know, when we did that raise, you know, it sold out in a couple hours. So I think the overall market perception is very good and, and recognizes that this is a really good thing. Good. All right. So lastly, Rebecca, if you could summarize your thoughts, uh, give us the, the main factors that make up the investment case for Geiger Energy. Again, it's that it's that basin that we need. You know, we've got we've got assets too in the Athabasca Basin, and and we also have the Hook project that Baseload brought into the mix, and so we're going to be advancing that as well. So we're we've not forgotten about that, and it's a really good asset. But the big prize is is finding that next major deposit, and I think in 
the case of the Thelon, I don't think there's a better place in the world to kind of find that next level of deposit and with the demands that we need, you know, going forward, we got some of that news, you know, you know, bigger builds by the U.S. on the horizon. We're going to need supply. We need a safe supply. And I think the Thelon and, and Geiger and what we're bringing to the table is going to really matter in the next long while, I hope. All right. Well, congratulations on the new uh, job and uh, good luck with everything. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the update. Dr. Rebecca Hunter, she is the CEO of Geiger Energy.